So, welcome back, and today this is probably going to be the last time I talk to you from this particular news scene, because the new news is ready. Also, we've had some upgrades, so we're migrating to a new host, and we'll be giving you far more details about that very soon, but until now we just have to deal with the important parts, which is our current host is using the old build, which means you're going to have to downgrade until we uh, get the chance to get back up to the current release. So, let's just take you through that, shall we? First thing you're going to do is uh, go to uh, the post here, which as I've left, and this is the IP for the server, by the way, which will be in the description for this video. And also, once it's finished, it will be sm.mushroomfleet.co.uk colon 25575. Just waiting for DNS propagation to catch up. So, um, basically, so as you can see here, I've made a post with a link to the build. So it's 20131114171141. So that is actually listed as the 14th of November, okay? The downgrade process is very simple. You create a new folder and open it, put your StarMade launcher in there, create a new folder called StarMade with a capital S and a capital M, open that, copy the build zip, which you've downloaded here, into that folder, um, and then right click the zip and go extract here. Okay, and that's it. So this is a separate installation of the old version. So it's technically, I suppose, a down. It's not really a downgrade because you're installing a clean copy. But here we go. That's how we do it, and I'm going to show you a little bit more information on that. Here we have an example install folder. This is all my StarMade installs, and I'm going to show you exactly where I've, how I've done this. Because there's many situations you might already have the install, you might already have it installed, the old version. But anyway, we're gonna take it from the top. So, what you're gonna have to do is uh, make a new folder called, I'm gonna call it test server, because otherwise it'd conflict with folders I already have. But you can call it whatever you want. You could call it chicken farm. It really doesn't matter as long as you remember what's inside it. So there I have chicken farm. Next thing I'm going to want to do is actually download the uh, build. And once I've got that build, I can then copy it. So let's just go across to the game, uh, to the browser and do that. So we just wait for that to download. Any minute now. There we go. Right, so I'm just going to grab this. And I'm going to drop it into our folder back here. You can't see me dragging and dropping, but I am doing it. It's also a bit tricky when you're messing around with this interface, but there you go. So there we are, and we've got the folder in here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to copy this build in here. And then in here, we're going to create a folder called StarMade with a capital S and a capital N. And then we're going to copy that build inside it. Next, we need a StarMade launcher. Any launcher will do. So I'm just going to copy this one and put it in Chicken Farm. And that's it. The only thing that you might want to do now is move into StarMade and select right click, extract here. Off it goes. Now you've got everything there. The only thing that remains now. is your sector export and blueprints folder for bringing across to your new bit and new install. So we'll just drop those in place now. There's 683 megabytes in my blueprints folder, so take a few seconds. Okay, so now that's done. Um, you can see that I've got the sector export folder and the blueprints folder in the right place. If I was now to run the uh, launcher, it'll uh, say update and install latest version or just start game. So you just go start game and then enter in the details, like I say, which we showed you a second ago, which were for the people who didn't see it that time. 
108.170.53.186 colon 25575. That's it. That's all you need. I just thought I'd go through that process for people because they were getting stuck. I have spoken to our new hosts and they have told me that they will be pushing out a new update soon anyway. Um, but I'm hoping that this will be the only time we uh, have to do this downgrade anyway. So in any case, thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time. And I can't wait to see you talking from the new news show. So uh, lots of news to report on and uh, recording has already begun. So thanks for watching again. See you next time.